Oh, and we're here today to talk about Prometheus, which is the prequel, but not really a prequel, but somewhat a prequel to Alien, the great Ridley Scott movie Alien from 1979. In this case, we have about three quarters fun and aliens and one quarter a lot of mythology. We're all here because of a map you two kids found in a cave. Not a map, an invitation. There is a spaceship traveling into deep space because somewhere they have located a planet on which may be the godlike creatures who created the universe and humans. And we have Numi Rapace, who was, of course, the girl from The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. She plays the intrepid scientist who is on board, and she is another one of Ridley Scott's great womanly power women. Loved the aliens, loved the fun, really got tangled up in the mythology. Well, I sort of know what you mean. I think it is a, a full-on prequel to Alien. Uh, I don't think there's any sort of about it. And look, probably the most scary image in any horror film in the last 35 mm. years is the alien bursting out of John Hurt stomach in Alien. Oh, God. <laughs> the sequels have all featured the fully grown monster alien that looks like a pterodactyl with jaws. <laughs> and that image so, has been yeah. so overexposed that it's no longer scary. So I was actually really pleased to see Prometheus go back to the imagery of slimy alien fetus, lizard thingies, and of monsters that don't just want to kill or eat you, but merge with you. Yes, but didn't you have complications with all of the godlike stuff? I wish there was all about the monsters. They built on such a big mythology. You know, one of the guys who wrote this is the guy who wrote uh, Lost. Mm -hmm. And so there is a great sense of complication and mystery and what does this really mean? And I felt like it got so bogged down in it that I couldn't really sit there and enjoy fully what you say is great, the, the, the sliminess. Listen, we agree. I agree with okay, you 100%. Okay. Because this is Ridley Scott, and because I think that this movie, beyond being a prequel, goes back to the mood and some of the structure of the original Alien, it's fair to say that we kind of want it to blow our minds right. in the same way. And I think it doesn't because there is something so random and arbitrary after a while about its imagery and metaphors. And there's something so all over the place about what's happening to whom yes. that the film, for everything that's good in it, does not fuse into an elegantly effective horror movie. I would agree with you. There is one person that I think we need to single out because she is having the summer of her life, and that's Charlize Theron. She plays the manager of the ship, really. She, it is her company who's funding this mission. And she, between this and Snow White and the Huntsman, I think she is just on a roll now playing tough, icy, beautiful women, and I just want to watch her do everything. I think Charlie Theron is really good in this. I loved Michael Fassbender as the android. That's not a spoiler. We know from the beginning that he yes. is. But I have to say, not to strike too negative a note, Numi Rapace, unfortunately, saddled with a hairdo that makes her look like Karen Lynn Gorney in Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> She is a really good actress, but I think this movie demonstrates that she's not a star. She doesn't really hold down the center of it at all the way that Sigourney Weaver did. And I think there's something a little all over the place about the movie as a result. It's all over the place. It's part slimy. It's part icy. It's Prometheus.